For the San Francisco Giants, love may be said with gloves. At the ballpark when the Giants beat the Dodgers the other night, I was concentrating on the count, the speeds of fastballs, and oh yes, the score. But also on Denard Spann's orange gloves. It was a cold night, and by the time the game started, I had wrapped my unprotected paws in the ends of the woolen scarf I was wearing around my neck. In the bottom of the first inning, the Giants were up, center fielder Spann at the top of the lineup, and inspiration struck. Spann stepped up, stood with his legs apart and then stretched out his left arm, as though he were a tightrope walker balancing himself before setting forth. And there, at the end of that arm, glowing in the darkening evening, was an accessory gleaming like the Statue of Liberty's torch. I couldn't take my eyes off his bright orange gloves. I fell into a fashion trance. As the panda had his hat, I think it's time for the dugout store to sell Spann finger wear. Away from the ballpark, the gloves no need for a team logo could be a fan's high fashion statement. At the ballpark, especially in autumn playoff time, a stadium full of fans could keep their fingers warm and signal allegiance by waggling. If the team wanted to get fancy, a light embedded in the palm of the glove could create a sleek visual statement for the seventh inning light rally. Imagine the glove lights, waving from side to side. The rally rag is nice, but finger by finger, it's time to step it up. P.S. At the Gotham Club before the game, there was Bloom's like coffee crunch cake, a delicious Bay Area favorite even before the Giants arrived. I think the recipe was handed down from the O'Loans. Whatever the visual equivalent of buzz is, that was the scene at Berkeley Rep for Friday, May 19th, opening of Monsoon Wedding. Approaching the theater, one was engulfed in a river of swishing silks in radiant colors. Some of the Indian finery was worn by people who'd grown up wearing it, some of it was worn by Westerners delighted to contribute to the visual splendor. If any Indian women minded the appropriation of their sartorial grandeur, they sure weren't showing it. Even writer-director Myra Nair expressed conscious pride in what she wore, an orange ensemble topped with a glowing flame-colored coat. When she took the stage with the cast for the curtain call, she said it was the outfit she'd worn 16 years before to the opening of the movie version of Monsoon Wedding and it still fits, she couldn't resist adding. She wasn't the only person aglow, in the courtyard after the show, actor Ali Momin asked actor Crystal Kieran to marry him. They'd been together for three years, but the proposal was a surprise. In keeping with the mood of the evening, and the story that had just unfolded on stage, she said yes. In a Berkeley gas station restroom, the mirror over the sink was missing, but Tom Walton read the sign over the spot where it had been, believe me, you look great. And on Cesar Chavez Street in the Mission, Ed Rose spotted a small parking place may be good for a smart car next to a sidewalk tree protected by a metal fence. The sign on the fence, yes, this parking place does make your car look fat. J.A.S. Latest in Memoriam Notice, placed in the Chronicle on Monday, May 20th.